Once we decided that a clinical portal was the way to go for us, we, we went through a series of engagements with quite a number of suppliers. Um, and we, we brought together a, a series of clinicians and, and other care workers to look at demos. And we brought in the technical staff to look at the demos. And it became clear that there's a, there is the most older fashioned, earlier type of clinical portal that had a large data warehouse and they just didn't seem to fit. The clinicians were scratching their heads, the technical, technical staff were shaking their heads. Viper turned up, presented and everyone just sat there nodding and asking lots of questions or rather lots of questions from the clinical side because they were really excited by it and the, the technical staff were just bemused and I asked them afterwards what was wrong and they said absolutely nothing, it's fine, it'll work, it's simple. Um, so it was, it, was, it was brilliant, it was the moment when technical, clinical and all the potential users all agreed that it was the right thing to do. Um, so that's where we are now, we've placed the order with it and we're going. With Viper 360, what it's going to give the clinicians is a way that they can quickly get hold of the information they need. Instead of logging on to four or five different systems, they only need to log on one system. They don't have to worry about changing from patient A to patient B every single time a new patient comes into the clinic. They do it once, it's patient-centric, and it changes, it changes all of the systems for the view. So it's safe and it's quick and it's efficient and I think the, the big thing for them was that it gives a patient confidence because the clinician knows about them and they don't have to repeat what they've said half a dozen times before. The clinician already knows. It's brilliant. Real-time data collection was hugely important for us. Um, it's no good having information and making decisions based upon yesterday's data or the data an hour ago. We're looking to collect as much data as we can about a patient right here, right now. And that clinician needs to make decisions based upon the most current information. So why on earth should IT hamper a clinician by giving him last week's news? It's no good to them. It's got to be the obvious stuff. It's listen to people's views. Clinicians, patients, care workers, every stakeholder now is so much better informed, so much more technically aware than they've ever been in the past. They know what's out there. They know what IT is capable of. And that listen exercise that, that we did at our trust, it was crystal clear that we had to provide solutions and it was very crystal clear that the people who knew what they needed were our system users and those who benefit from it. So listen, ask questions and listen.